Salutations fellow video editors, in this video I will show you how to use a tool called Transmitter. Let's start with the basics, how to actually animate clip in the program panel. First of all, toggle animation on properties that you would like to animate. Then click on scale or position property to highlight clip in program panel or double click it there. If there's a blue circle in the center, that means motion property is active and you can animate it here. The easiest way to do it is to press spacebar two times for a sequence to play a bit and then adjust properties on the screen. Or you can use Premiere command step forward many frames to move playhead 5 frames. The shortcut by default for that is shift plus right arrow. Also recently I figured out that you can scroll through the timeline with the mouse wheel, which makes animating a lot more precise. In case you don't know, you can change scale and rotation with these dots. After I'm done animating, I just press transmit. It automatically adds transform effect and moves keyframes there. After that, disable motion property. I would suggest not resetting it in case you'll need to change animation, unless you would want to further adjust the clip. Here are a few reasons why I use transform effect over motion property. Unfortunately, due to Premiere's limitation, there's no way to get keyframe spatial or temporal interpolation, but there's a workaround. Pressing add interpolation will create an array of keyframes between the main ones. It will mimic the interpolation without any difference. 50 milliseconds keyframes interval should work just fine, but you can change the value if needed. Again, don't reset motion property in case you'll need to adjust the animation. Optionally, you can just animate clip without interpolation first, then send keyframes to transform effect and do it there. And now let's look at one flaw of the transform effect and how you can easily avoid it. If you have animated rotation or scale with transform effect on a clip that has a different resolution than the sequence, enabling shutter angle to add motion blur will mess up the animation. It's purely a problem on Premiere's side. Method number one, create nested sequence. This is the best way to avoid this issue. Right click the clip, press nest, write a name if needed, click OK and you're good to go. Method 2. Disable hardware acceleration. This will fix the problem, but you might want to keep a hardware acceleration on, so it's not ideal. And now let's talk about this button right here. It aligns anchor point and position values in transform effect. I find myself adjusting anchor point and position values on my zoom presets, so it will zoom to where I want it. Transform effect doesn't change position value in reference to anchor point, like motion property does, so you'll have to do it yourself. But now you can move anchor point to the position you want to zoom in or out and then press this button. That's all I wanted to tell you about Transmitter. Thank you for watching and I hope this tool will speed up your workflow like it did for me.